Welcome back to AWF Outdoors. So I went on uh, my last scouting trip today and went and pulled three cameras that's been in the woods for a while. One of those cameras I was really looking forward to getting film off of or video off of or pictures. Anyway, uh, it was on a place that had uh, two, two trails intersecting. Uh, just a perfect intersection where one trail crossed another one. But anyway, the last, last trip down there was probably about three or four weeks ago. And I jumped a buck out of his bed down there. And I've uh, been scouting this area this summer. And I've been following two or three good sets of tracks that look like mature bucks. So anyway, I went in there, like I said, about three or four weeks ago and set two cameras on this spot. So went back in there today. And, well, you'll see what happens. But, uh... During that scouting trip, I went in there and uh, uh, really surprised that the acorns is falling as much as, they are, much as they are right now. I probably saw about every type of acorn except water oak uh, that had been falling. Some white oak, some, you know, the, the acorns weren't warmed up and stuff, so there were still some good white oaks, but not very many. Maybe wind or storms may have blew a few of them out, but I didn't see any deer eating those yet. I did run across some mountain oak acorns, and there were a few deer eating those. Uh, a lot of good acorns on the ground on, under the mountain oak trees. Uh, and then uh, pretty much every red oak tree that I come across uh, was dropping pretty good. And pretty much every one of the red oaks right now had deer under them, or had been eating, eating acorns there freshly. And I can tell they just started the dropping the acorns because I didn't see any droppings around the trees, at least not very many. But there was a lot of scuffling in the leaves and a lot of a lot of holes, and you could tell the deer had just got on them and and they were hitting them really heavy right now. So, um, you know, we got like 12 days or something something like that till our Alabama bow season comes in in uh, October 15th. So uh, by the time they come in, I'm sure the other, maybe some white oaks will be dropping by then. But if not, they'll still be eating those red oak acorns. Um, they're right there together with some white oaks and the mountain oaks. So they'll still be on those. And um, if I decide at that time to just harvest a deer, uh, I might go to that spot and kill a doe. I did get uh, off of a different camera that should be on similar to the, probably the same trail, but just across the road in a different place that it's in the same area but I, I got one one buck here that's I don't know I, I would, maybe three and a half uh, you can't hardly see that right brow time uh, if it's there and it could be if it is it's an eight point uh, just the way the angle is on the on the deer and on the camera but anyway hope you enjoy the video and this will be my last update probably on on deer hunting until deer season comes in. The things that I found so far is enough sign for me to know where I need to be hunting. And I have, I don't know, at least five or six really good locations where a mature buck should be, and at least plenty of deer. So uh, I may do some more hog hunting before then, probably will. Hope like, hopefully I'll get a, another, another video up for you guys on, on hog hunting. I may take my bow next trip since I've already killed one with a black powder. I want to kill one with that pistol, but I can still take the pistol and my bow. Uh, so I may do that next time. Hope you enjoy the few minutes of video here, just very little, just showing what I found today. Uh, thank y'all for subscribing, and please hit that subscribe button and follow us along this year, and uh, give us a like also. So enjoy the video. Just out here, taking my last few cameras out of the woods in central Alabama on public land. I decided to do some scouting back to the truck. Uh, acorns are starting to fall. I've seen a little bit about, it, about every kind of acorn that is falling, but white oak's just sporadic. 
red oaks are falling good and uh, I've seen a few places that you could kill deer on any day right now. I'm standing right now beside a big red oak tree. This is what the terrain looks like. I had a camera set up. This is the big ridge coming off. I got a camera set up on top of the ridge up here. I followed that ridge out about a month ago and put another camera right down on the lower trail that follows this hillside around at the end of that ridge. So I just took that camera out that's over there and I'm coming back around through here following the, the trail that the deer prefer and I come up on this red oak here. But anyway, we got a hole there. Another hole right there. I noticed the ground was all tore up right here. So I figured that's what it was, is deer eating. But anyway, uh, there's a acorns deer is chewed up. There's another piece. Another piece. Just everywhere you look here. Got another hole there. Let's check, check off. Another acorn piece. Somewhere there. And then let's see. Another one. Another one. But anyway. I can just stand right here and look all around this tree. I'm gonna look up the hill just a little bit here. Get out of somewhere. So here's our oak tree. And I can see stuff, you know, out in here, all the way around to over here. About 30 or 40 foot wide. And it's just uh, chewed up acorn holes everywhere. It'll be a very easy access to get in here to hunt these deer. Look here. Look right here. Look at these big red oaks. They're chewed up here. I mean, they're just everywhere. So, if I was in dire need to just kill a deer, I'd kill it right here about any day. But, uh, you know where she's going when you shoot her. Oh, uh, right down in there. If she stops there, it'd be good, but probably not. Probably going all the way down through there. And then I'd have to bring her all the way back out here, back up this hill, go back up this mountain here, get way back up there about a quarter mile, get on top of the ridge, take another half mile out to the vehicle. I could about hit me in the head just now. What's weird, there's not much crap here. Our deer droppings, but uh, I'm sure it's cause they're just now starting here. But this trail that I walked in across through here is uh, beat down. But anyway, I got a buddy waiting on me right up here. So uh, let me get on out of here. I just wanna come back and video this and show it to you. We got a couple pictures and some deer on, on the first camera I pulled. And you wouldn't believe it. But the camera that's on the best buck trail here for some reason was on off. And I can imagine them that I left it off, but the card was still in it. It looked untampered with. It was just off. So apparently I didn't turn it on. But man, it's, regardless of you know whether I got a picture there or not, I'm gonna hunt that area because I've done seen a good one there. And I know it's a buck trail. So check out this trail.
tree right there starting to fall. I see some deer activity under it. It's a white oak, but it's got those little bitty pin white oaks on it. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. They're preferring those uh, red oaks over these though. That's about 50 yards back. Yeah, let's get on up there and get this other camera. That's what I was talking about, that deer eating. Yeah. Deer will eat these big leaves. They can do it dry, dead. We'll get back with y'all. 